everything you'd expect from a getaway in the Pocono Mountains is right here in Jim Thorpe. And now there's an app for that. Exploring places to dine, shop, play and stay all just a tap away. And in addition to the app, Jim Thorpe's official website has a brand new home on PoconoMountains.com. Just visit JimThorpe.org. And speaking of new, there's a new historic walking tour being offered seasonally in the downtown. I'm here with lead tour guide Joe. She's going to give us a preview. Should we get started? Sounds good. Let's get started. You know Jim Thorpe as the booming tourist town, rich with Victorian charm. But let's travel back to the 1800s when it boomed during the Industrial Revolution, thanks to the local discovery of anthracite. Join me as we travel through history when coal was king and the Golden Age ruled. Welcome to Millionaire's Row, where the wealthy coal mine owners, railroad investors, and bankers once lived. U.S. Congressman Milo Dimmick's family house is now a bed and breakfast, while the home of Civil War General Charles Albright most recently housed an Italian restaurant. And his home was considered to be a grandiose mansion which when we think about mansions today, we think about the large homes that we see on TV. The Dolan House, another bed and breakfast on Millionaire's Row, is where the town doctor lived and treated patients. Across the street, the former firehouse is now called Marion Ho's Bar, a popular spot for food and drinks. And check out the Ma Chunk Opera House, a vaudeville house turned movie theater after World War II. Our historical opera house hosted such acts as Al Jolson, who was later on known for the jazz singer, uh, Gypsy Rosalie, as well as the Dorsey brothers who were from Lansford. Speaking of well-known visitors, the Inn at Jim Thorpe hosted a few as well. Back in the heyday, Ulysses S. Grant stayed here, as well as Teddy Roosevelt on his way to upstate New York. Next door, Jim Thorpe National Bank is another stop on the narrated tour. Visitors can even have their picture taken inside this 100-year-old vault. Pretty cool, right? It was originally founded by Morgan Powell. He was a coal boss, needed a place to put his money. <laughs> And you know that famous film, The Molly Maguires, featuring Sean Connery and Richard Harris? It tells the story of Irish coal miners who began retaliating against their harsh work conditions. Seven of those Molly Maguires, as they were called, were imprisoned and executed at this jail. It was built in 1871, and it's very foreboding. Today, you can tour the old jail museum and see the famous handprint that one Molly McGuire left behind as a declaration of his innocence. Despite being washed, painted, and replastered, the mysterious handprint never went away. And although the courthouse, where several Molly Maguires went on trial, has since been torn down, the presiding judge, Samuel Dreyer, still watches over from Jim Thorpe's current courtroom one, which is adorned with intricate designs and Tiffany stained glass windows. This particular courtroom was not built until the 1890s. The gallery itself, though, was featured in the Molly Maguire movie. These 45-minute historic walking tours are available through St. Mark's and St. John's Episcopal Church on Race Street. They're offered memorial through Labor Day, then by appointment during the autumn season, with fall foliage as the perfect backdrop. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.